Hey you guys and welcome back to episode 5 of ReZero where our boy Subaru went through an absolute feels train of a ride of an episode. I thought it was really fascinating of a kind of fantasy isekai to kind of revisit the original world that Subaru came from and finally say his true kind of farewells, get that closure, whilst also confronting and coming to an understanding of his past. So I do believe that Subaru has indeed passed the trials with us leaving off with Ekitana in a school uniform. Just want to say once again that was perfection. So I'm curious to see if this episode will be about maybe Amelia's trials or if we'll kind of continue on with Subaru a story so I guess without further ado let us get into things. If you guys want to watch a full anime make sure to check out the link above or else we stand the video in three, two, one, go. I feel like he's gonna say you look hot as fuck. My man, my man of culture. <laughs> Wait that 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 was okay cool <laughs> i did not expect him to just say you look really good in that uniform and that was literally how we were going to go into the opening or ending because last week i said that i really liked how they provided us with a different kind of ending and you guys told me that was the original opening or yeah so that kind of got me um a bit but i think no i do think this is the official opening yeah i remember the opening with it being absolutely miserable um but i guess that is reserved for us so yeah i'll uh, continue on from that note i am excited to see kind of where this episode will lead i'm overall curious about the kind of overall trials because we did leave off with ekidona asking um Subra how he feels now since he has confronted his past and it was indeed a very emotional episode it was honestly a very beautiful episode and i also touched on the fact of how i really enjoy um isekais overall just exploring the original worlds that they come from because that is kind of a topic we never really um address and i think as i mentioned really liked how overall um my next life as a villain has said that and i think you guys mentioned another anime as well that did that so i'm overall just liking that kind of concept and since we are considering still in this kind of um dream like state of a world it does look like we still have a little bit left to explore in that aspect thank you <laughs> she she looks so cute though oh she recreated it from his memories First you need to face your own past. Surely, because he did face his past. Or more than suitable. Oh, she's so cheeky. Everyone teared up a bit, let's be real. It was cute. It was it was honestly just a lovely moment. That's why it looks really hazy. Are you sure you didn't know? Yeah, how did she create being different in any way from what you'd picture? Ooh, the desire to have been there. From your imaginary. Oh, this just gave me chills. Oh, Ekidana has a little bit. Sura has become a new man. New confidence. I think that truly shows that he has faced his past and passed these trials. 
this is gonna be messed up. Is this indeed kind of like an inception like moment or was Ekidona just testing him once again? Oh, there are three? Oh shit, so we've only passed one. So we got two more tries. My face. Oh. That's true. That must have been a very unexpected answer. Someone, Ekidona, the Witch of Knowledge, cannot figure out. I think that does say something about Subaru. What's the next trail gonna be? Huh? True, true, true. Oh, so it does look like we will explore. <gasps> Amelia's trials maybe? I wonder what Amelia if Amelia had to go through the same kind of trials of facing her past. I wonder what that would have looked like. <gasps> oh no, sweetie. What are you going through? <gasps> what? Oh, fuck. I've never seen her like this before. Is she all right? It wasn't me. I keep telling her. I feel like hers is going to be related to um the witch. <gasps> Amelia Park. Where the fuck is Park? <laughs> Oh shit, I do we want to know what her past trials was about? I've never seen a melee break down like that. It's terrifying. Really? I guess Otto was right. Um, I would rather not become an empty cell of a soul. Wait, who are you? We've seen you in the opening. We've seen you there. Ow. <laughs> what a pathetic excuse for a man. <laughs> Avoid making any unnecessary comments. Okay, so it does look like it's someone we do need to be a little bit conscious of. Are you? Ruse of Bill to represent this community. Though I'm old and frail, excuse me. 
Now I wasn't gonna quite say as a lolly baba, but sure. It looks like entering it only just makes you lose this consciousness, but it looks like maybe if you leave, only your body leaves and your soul stays here. It repels her soul. So you would just be taking an empty body out. And the souls remain inside the barrier, leaving the empty shell. Ooh. Messed up. I guess <laughs> tastes like grass. Maybe she did just brew grass. Didn't say yeah, didn't they say they just couldn't? But we cannot free the sanctuary. The contract that among residents of the sanctuary for generations. Contract passed down. Interesting concept. Amelia, are you alright? Fuck, what did she go through? She was like in a state of shock. <laughs> I mean, nothing to really apologize for. This is when the love develops. I said it enough. <laughs> Wait, doesn't mean if she wasn't thinking she just unconsciously sought out for Silvaru? Was she able to... Can she rest a little longer? Like, jeez. I don't know, she literally went through all that shit and you're gonna tell her to get in there straight away? Really? I thought everyone would... I guess someone feels safer in the sanctuary. Oh, uh, a little understandable. It was indeed, that's why I found her really sir. Has some plans in mind. Oh, I'm getting just really creepy vibes from this whole entire episode. Ren's constant warnings is kind of like, you know, in horror movies with the ballerina in the music box. I know that kind of music played out again. It's just giving me the chills. Shit's about to go down this episode, isn't it? It's been too peaceful. This is cruel. <laughs> I love how that's our answer. <laughs> Ooh la la. Well, she, she's hot, ain't she? I mean, I mean, do agree, do agree. I kind of want the um, Lolly Baba's powers, Ruzuru, sorry. <laughs> His powers is all about, because we. We 
we saw like multiple versions of her in the opening. What are Frederica's kind of intentions? I thought she was just following Roswell's kind of instructions, but maybe that's not quite the case. Felt like they wouldn't. <sighs> Is she gonna survive this? I feel like we're just torturing Amelia over and over again. Conspiracy. Roswell's always kind of scheming. The same. Oh, shit. So does seeing shit that you shouldn't experience. Oof. Rap. <gasps> Stop it! Why indeed? To ensure I would not have to confront the witch cult myself. Shit, so you're telling me you were the puppeteer throughout this whole entire event? It does sound like you give two shits. Shit, see, you're telling me you predicted that far ahead. Yeah. 
But what? Mm. I thought the villagers was too small to like have an effect about the royal selection. I mean, okay, like Roswell has always kind of scared me because he's just really unpredictable, but I did not expect him to do this much. I do just want to comment that the music, just the, I don't know what instrument it was, but it was on point. But it just added to the real kind of dramaticness of everything I felt. Wait, is Amelia still struggling to face the... Oh. Uh, the first trials of facing our past? I believe in you. I mean, every night you're going through hell. For the sake of everyone else, Amelia is very selfless. Like, she's going through so much pain, yet she only cares about the fact that she's troubling the villagers. Wait, we're getting... Wait, close any part. Wait, wait. Wait, so we're getting ready to leave? <gasps> that was fun. I guess that's kind of saying that she's a good person, even though we don't know quite what she's planning. Is that to ask the question? Oh. Everything will change. That's what Roswell said. That's very entertaining. If he doesn't know how to confront Frederica, go to Beatrix. Oh, I follow. The villagers aren't half, um, half blood, so that's why they can leave. Sorry, dumb moment. I don't, we've finally got like i thought we find a parcel of trial so i thought that skipped like a time frame of it i can tell yeah what is the point what does it mean you can go through the trials in amelia's place She, like, yeah, I agree. But at the same time, yes, we should have faith in Amelia. But can I just sit there and watch her break every time? And does she really want to overcome her past? Mixed feelings! I'm kind of on both um, points of the argument. I am surprised that um, he agreed to do this, considering the first kind of interaction that we're keeping them in a church um, and not letting them leave.
I feel like Frederica is going to play a really important role in all of this. Um, even though she was a character we've only seen kind of like briefly. I just feel like she's going to have quite the impact. Oh, so cute. I don't like the tie. It looks like twilight or like blood time. Just the lighting. Why is everything so red? I don't know, isn't there a time that's called the blood sun or something like that? Like, I know there's a... I told you shit was gonna go down this episode. Wait, why is the tick... Sorry, did your foot just come off? Oh, hello, foot. Oh, no, hello, intestines. Oh, no, don't. Oh, do you need help shoving that back in? You promised, didn't you? That you'd take good care of your bowels until we met. Hello, um, plot. <laughs> okay, I do believe her name was Elsa and she clearly did not learn how to let the fuck go. <laughs> Wait, isn't she a character we saw in like episode two of like season one? I, okay. I'm a bit bamboozled. I didn't think she was quite a character we were going to um, see again, especially with this kind of um, introduction of her and her two um, fig plots. Uh, <laughs> but also the fact that we would see her in season two with this kind of ending with her. Also, um, yeah, absolutely destroying uh, Silver's Bells again. That, I did not expect us to see that kind of factor of gruesomeness. And it does make sense with this overall episode. I don't know, this overall episode really gave a a certain vibe with the like aesthetics as well as the music. I think music really played an important factor into this episode of really giving you that sense of pressure with the music. It was very dramatic, then it was kind of like deadly silence again, and then it just I no, the music was just like oddly creepy as though something was going to go down, and I guess shit did literally go down. They also need to stop with these illegal cliffhangers because that shit ain't fair. But once again, we have met Elsa, but what does that mean? Wasn't Elsa Elsa. This was back in season one, so I do apologize if my memories are a little bit hazy. But wasn't Elsa firstly technically hired by Roswell to assassinate Amelia? Or she was either after Felt, but she definitely wanted that royal, like, insignia, something along those lines. So she was, I know for sure that she was hired by Roswell, so I'm just saying, like, what does that mean again? Especially considering we had this very kind of, like, dramatic and confrontational of an episode between kind of Subaru and Roswell. Does that mean that Roswell has once again planned all of this because as he kind of confessed he kind of puts the butter through all this shit to make sure that his plan kind of works out so does that mean that once again he has hired Elsa to take out Subaru and is that all a part of his plan and this also gets me very excited and curious about where will Subaru reset will he reset like of course he will reset but what I kind of mean by that is just he's been through trials like he's kind of drank Ekidona's fluids there's just been a lot that's gone on like he's had his first meeting with a witch and I just feel like a lot of kind of factors played in and so that we could honestly have a very unexpected turn of events like obviously I do feel like he will kind of rewind back in time but I feel like there's going to be a really bamboozling factor in there that's kind of the vibe I'm getting just with this kind of certain ending to what it has gone through especially considering we also had Garfield also talk about like how he needs to return like or else they're going to be the ones that get screwed over the most so like how's that all going to work out where exactly is he going to reset to that is honestly my biggest question 
for next week. That is going to be very exciting. I guess on a positive note though, we do need to congratulate Subaru for not dying for I think a solid two episodes. So yeah, I guess that was fun. I think Subaru finally survived for more than like two days without dying. So yay, that's a new milestone. <laughs> this episode was quite interesting in the fact that they introduced a lot more kind of chess pieces to the board. And what I mean by that is we not only got introduced to new characters, but also got the intentions of old and also seen a very kind of character we haven't seen in a while of obviously Elsa. So someone that does really pique my interest in the new department is the Lollibaba as we did see a glimpse of her in the opening with like multiple versions of herself so I do feel like that will somehow kind of play into things. I also think it was quite interesting at the fact that she got introduced in this episode where a lot of people kind of confessed their intentions of their overall kind of fans for things and then obviously we always knew that Roswell was quite a cheeky kind of character, a very mysterious character and we did kind of assume that he has played a lot of kind of tricks and planned things out like he did lay out kind of sort of events but I did not expect him to kind of cause Subaru all this shit to make sure that all his plans kind of work out and then we also kind of touched back on Frederica who we thought was just kind of you know a cute main when that we got introduced to a couple of episodes again but it looks like she herself I feel like is going to play quite a crucial role within the story with a lot of people kind of foreshadowing and kind of warning that she is Frederica like Frederica is Frederica she wouldn't do anything bad to Petra but so a lot of warnings were given kind of about her because when we first met her I thought she was just someone that follows Roswell's kind of orders and obviously Roswell we know is quite the chaotic character but I feel like Frederica herself does maybe have her own kind of plans for things and then obviously we can't forget this ending of freaking needing Elsa again which is honestly the one that really caught me off guard and that's why I think this overall episode of introducing a lot of new characters a lot of new kind of players to the chessboard was an overall kind of interesting factor so that's why I feel like this overall episode was to kind of show that there are indeed a lot of kind of players on this chessboard so anything at any moment can kind of go down so I guess on that note can't wait to see what the frick is honestly gonna go down we're still gonna will reset too so I guess until then make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next time